Hey guys, it's Joshy here, and I am here to show you how to get three and four star photographs of nine tails in the new Pokemon Snap. Now, if I do not mention a way you do know about, then let me know, you know, down below in the comments. There have been some that I've been told about that I know, but there's also been some I didn't know about, which is awesome. Also, on top of that, if you want to check out the playlist at the end of this video, there are a lot of, well, actually, there's going to be all other Pokemon from this game in that. If there's one missing at the moment, let me know. I'll get to it. I'm working my way through. Uh, and finally, if you'd like to give this video a like because it's helpful or enjoyable, either way, that's always great. But anyway, we've got to head into the forest and we have to head to the winter area. Now, to make sure you get the winter area, you have to unlock it in level 3. So you have to be level 3, and I'll show you how to unlock it. Even though mine's unlocked, you still have to actively do this every time you go there. Unlike a lot of them where you have unlocked them, this one is continuous. And we'll get there. So, we're going to come down. Now, if you want to go faster, hit this guy with a fluff fruit. And then once he's gone, just speed up. You don't have to worry. That just gets him out of your way faster. Now what you want to do here is we want to head down this way. But to do so you have to play a melody. So this um, Trevenant does this and then he'll open up the path for you. Once he does that you head down this path but you have to pay attention to this Espeon because you have to Illumina Orb this Espeon after it stops and then follow it out. And that is how you get to the winter area. Now in the winter area, you have to pay attention. There are two Gardevoirs, but the one we want is this one here. We want to fling a heap of orbs at it. To get it to do its first teleport, which will teleport up into the tree up there. After it does that, do not orb it. If you orb it, it will then um, teleport up and the dealing will come along further. Now what we're after is this nine tails here. What we want to do then is hit the dealing with fruit. There we go. We have to get that interaction of it. It's going to actually shove its tail up at us. That is a three star, which you can activate yourself by hitting it with a fruit too. But if you do it down here, he will do his fire. And there's another three star afterwards. I get it again. And the how. But that fire, or Willow Wisp, I assume it is, is actually your four star interaction. So it's that easy, but if you're like a lot of people and you're going through the level and trying to get everything, then you may not, you may be going, okay, I'm concentrating on nine tails, but you don't do anything to the Gardevoir. Or you don't orb it, you just take a quick snap and move on. So you have to orb that first Gardevoir because the dealing follow it up the hill. So as we can see, there is our four star with its fire. Or we'll say Will-O-Wisp. And here's our three star, which we got multiples of. I'm actually going to take that one there, see if it beats the others. But anyway, guys, that was quite simple and to the point. And as I said, if you enjoyed it or found it helpful, a like's always helpful. And the players at the end has all other Pokemon in the game. If it's not there yet, let me know. I'll get to it earlier. On top of that, you can check out the channel itself. It's got a lot of content, Pokemon and not. And I think some of it's at least enjoyable. And then finally, I do stream on Twitch, which is linked below. And I actually stream this game in full there and do a lot of different games every week, including a lot of community-based gaming, which is a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.